Jula Patch is getting out late. It's uh, smart thinking. Jula Patch is getting very close. Got it. Jula Patch number four, Taiki Yanagida. And a huge moment for him. Pretty sure this is his first winning ride. Ignored. Taiki Yanagida just kept chipping away, chipping away. Taiki Yanagida having a whale of a day. That's his third winning ride on the program here at Ellerslie this afternoon. For well, the man they call Tiger. out of the pack, Bellatrix Black has got there. Bellatrix Black stuns them in the McKee family Sunline vase. Germanicus starting to charge after it with Brando on the outside. Germanicus, Brando starting to lift. White out, Miss Cardi are getting home. Down to the line, they hit it. Germanicus. Such a loss. Today, our hearts are filled with the sorrow of the passing of Taiki Yanagida. Our sport is in mourning for a jockey with an infectious smile. I only hear it reckoned on Saturday, Kozi Asano rode a winner wearing Taiki's jodhpurs and was afterwards he was too emotional to speak, to share that grief that he was feeling. Today he'll wear those silks again with the Yanagida family's blessing and says that Taiki will again be riding with him. And that's how we all feel today. Pursuing his dream to become a jockey, Taiki won 162 races up to Group 2 level. But more importantly, he won all the hearts of everyone he came in contact with. There was always a greeting and a smile that we sorely missed, especially at the racetrack. Our thoughts and hearts are with everyone close to Taiki. As you can see, the jockeys here in the birdcage at Rickard and out here sharing a moment of, of silence in respect to Taiki. And Emily, he's a jockey whose grace touched us all and we're just so saddened by this loss. Yeah, a really sad uh, occasion, Aidan. And when you hear about people talk about uh, Taiki, hardworking, focused, love to learn, always trying to improve at his trade, happy and smiling. And they're the words and sentiments echoed by his uh, fellow competitors and everybody within that uh, racing industry. Aidan, as we come back to you, no doubt the industry, as we do, the racing family rallying around to do what they can in support of everyone and uh, Taiki. Yeah, absolutely. As we said, uh, that Cosy will again be wearing his silks today. The jockeys, every one of them, will be wearing a black armband throughout the day. Uh, today they've spoken about just having something silently in the jockeys' room, but they wanted to come out and, and share their grief publicly as well and to honour a man who, who really did uh, just capture our hearts, Emily. Great to see Taiki's family here to be to be with him. And, and they knew his passion, they knew his love of, uh, of our sport. And yeah, he's going to be... And it's so sorely missed and you know, our, our industry really is in mourning today, Emily. Absolutely uh, is Aidan and we welcome in Bruce Sharrock to our coverage this morning. And Bruce, as we get to you, I wish it was in happier circumstances that we were catching up with you today. Yeah, hi Emily. Um, yeah, it is a very sad day. Um, when you lose one of your own, it's pretty confronting for all. Um, uh, even myself, as I speak to you, there's a little bit of a lump in the throat for the young man. Um, 
Look, I just think that one of the one of the things that really highlights our industry is when things go wrong, we come together. I think like no other I've seen, and for that I'm immensely proud. I know that this young man who I didn't know so well um, would be immensely proud. Uh, the the way that his fellow jockeys are honouring him, the way that I know the industry is reflecting as we speak, uh, honouring him. Um, yeah, he was a he was a gracious, an energetic, and a polite young man, and a credit to himself, his family, and our industry. So for that, we're deeply saddened by that loss. Bruce, I'd also like to uh, yeah, sorry Emily. No, you go ahead. You keep going. That's okay. No, look, I, I just want to make a special mention of a few people inside my organisation. Uh, Martin Burns has been amazing, uh, helping facilitate uh, the arrival of um, Taiki's family here to New Zealand last week. Uh, Jason Tan has been selfless in his time um, and making sure that uh, they have everything they need to make what is an extremely difficult situation as comfortable as possible. And the other professionals enlisted by NZTR just to ensure that not only Taiki and his family, but all of us are supported and, and reached out to when needed uh, has been outstanding as well. So I just want to pay thanks to them. Bruce, no doubt people are wondering about a memorial or if they can make donations or if there's anything anybody can do to help uh, Taiki's family. What can you update us on with regards to that? Yeah, look, Emily, uh, NZTR will make public very shortly an account where we've already had countless inquiry around uh, donations towards Taiki's family, and we'll make that public uh, probably within the next 24 hours, if not today. Uh, the memorial service that I know a small group deeply connected to Taiki are working on uh, its location and time, and will again assist with the communication of that. And I think that will be uh, something that you know, it's going to be deeply emotional. It's something that this young man deserves. So we'll keep everyone abreast of that. Um, and really, focus for NZTR right now is ensuring that uh, Taiki's mum and sister who have made the journey over here to New Zealand are continue to be comforted and uh, they get their young man back to Japan uh, in a timely fashion and in the way that they want. So we'll make sure that all that happens. And Bruce, finally, you mentioned it earlier, but people deal with grief in different ways, and it's really important that anybody who is struggling reaches out, isn't it? Look, I can't stress that enough, Emily. I mean, you know, it's one of the days where it's, it's pretty cool to be tough. The fact of the matter is we all have emotions. We need to deal with them. We need to be upfront with them. And if people are feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit, I guess, under pressure or stress, have a chat, reach out to people, there are people engaged and activated uh, to help you. So you're not alone, and it's at times like this where we need to remember, come together, we'll get through this, there will be brighter days. Bruce, thank you so much for your time this morning. Great to uh, catch up with you. It is a sad day in New Zealand racing as we mourn the loss of Taiki Yanagida. He enjoyed a wonderful career on the track and uh, certainly uh, will miss his lovely smiling face around the race courses. We leave you with his biggest win of his career, which of course came in the Group 2 Westbury Classic aboard Dragon Queen. The Westbury Classic, they swing for home. One more time, the leader from Faithful Feet, out wide, Malt Time. Now, where's his favourite, Emeralina? She's still two lengths away. And behind these is uh, Dragon Queen. Faithful Feet ranged up to one more time. Running on now, Emeralina, Dragon Queen, and now Ellie Cat. It's Faithful Feet in front of the 100. Coming after it, Dragon Queen on the outside. Battling away then with Gods, and behind them is one more time at the line. Oh, gee, that's close. As they head towards the line, Faithful Feet on the inside, Dragon Queen, the photo coming through, Dragon Queen will win it. Well, Mike Maroney and Pam Gerard and Taiki Yanagida, the mayor by Sway Ness, takes out the Westbury Classic. Taiki Yanagida did that, and then on the line, he knew it, and he loved it on the line to Dragon Queen and Taiki Yanagida. What sort of thrill is that? Uh, yes, uh, there's uh, Opie Bossam and uh, Marulina inside of us. And then could see like blocking, blocking. So I saw that if I broke her a little bit more longer, and this was always hit the line strong, but always get too soon there. And then can like chase them, yes, lose the confidence when she got around there. But yes, this time a few horses in front of her, then inside one kicking well, so she just fought with that one. 
and then yeah, I was a confident step past. You looked inside, saw faithful feet there. Did you think you'd got the nose down? Yeah, yeah, I did. How big really a thrill is this for you, Taiki, to win this on Karaka Million Night? Yeah, so I never, I, I never won like drug type race before today, and then uh, Palmer and the owners gave me opportunity on this horse so many times, and then I finally made it. So <laughs> just thank you, Ami. We're in for nasty weather, and I'll ride it out with you. We won't be riding highs and lows like tides of ocean blue. We won't be here forever. Just stay.